Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the 13th Hotz problem of algebra. So let us begin. The question asks us to solve simultaneous equation. So we have been given two equations and we have to solve them and find the solution. Okay, to begin with let me just start with the equation number one, the first equation and let me take this constant term on the right hand side. So we will be having m times x plus y plus n times x minus y is equal to m square plus mn plus n square and in the second equation as well let me take the constant term on the right hand side so we would be having n times x plus y plus m times x minus y is equal to m square minus mn plus n square let me name this one as equation number one and let me name this one as equation number two. Now, as you can see that this is a special case of simultaneous equation wherein x plus y is uh, the first variable and x minus y is the second variable. And as you can see their coefficients are interchanged. Here we are having mn and here we are having nm. So you might be remembering that in such cases we solve the simultaneous equation by first adding 1 and 2 and later by subtracting 1 and 2. So let us start with adding equation 1 and 2. So let us add them. So the first equation is m times x plus y plus n times x minus y is equal to m square plus mn plus n square and we have to add the second equation which is n times x plus y plus m times x minus y is equal to m square minus mn plus n square. Now we have to add these two equations so we have to add them. So we would be having m times x plus y plus n times x plus y plus n times x minus y plus m times x minus y is equal to m square plus m square that would be 2m square mn and mn will get cancelled and here we would be having plus 2n square. As you can see over here that x plus y x plus y is common. So we would be having x plus y common on the next we would be having m plus n plus over here you can see x minus y is common so we will have x minus y common and we would be having n plus m that can be written as m plus n is equal to here we are having two common so we would be having m square plus n square. Now in the next step you can see that m plus n is common so let us take this m plus n common and we would be having x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 2 times m square plus n square. Now let us solve the bracket which is inside so it will be m plus n you can see that this will be x plus y plus x minus y so y will get cancelled and we will be having 2x is equal to 2 times m square plus n square. So as you can see this 2 is getting cancelled out and we are getting the value of x as x is equal to m square plus n square upon m plus n so that's the value of x. Now to find the value of y we have to now subtract these two equations. So let us now subtract these two equations. So we have to subtract equation 1 and 2. So let me write the first equation which is m times x plus y plus n times x minus y is equal to m square plus mn plus n square. And the second equation is n times x plus y plus m times x minus y is equal to m square minus mn plus n square. 
Now, we have to subtract these two equations. So, all the signs will change. So, this will become minus, this will become minus as well and here as well this will become minus, this will become plus and this will become minus. So, we would be having m times x plus y minus n times x plus y then plus n times x minus y minus m times x minus y is equal to m square minus m square will get cancelled n square minus n square will get cancelled plus mn and plus mn will make it 2 mn let me write it properly so it will be 2 mn now let us move ahead in the next step you can see that x plus y is common so let us take x plus y common and in the bracket we would be having m minus n and here you can see that x minus y is common so let us take x minus y common and we would be having n minus m so it would be n minus m is equal to 2 mn now here you can see that there is m minus n and here there is n minus m so what we can do is we can take minus common so this term will become minus so we will have one more step which will be x plus y times m minus n minus x minus y we have taken minus from here so it will become m minus n is equal to 2 mn now you can see that we can take m minus n common so m minus n is common and we are having x plus y minus x minus y is equal to 2 mn here you can see that this will be m minus n and in the bracket we are having x plus y minus x plus y so x will get cancelled and we will be having 2y and that will be equal to 2 mn so 2 will get cancelled 2 will get cancelled and we will get the value of y as mn upon m minus n so we got the value of y as well thank you very much